بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so let me just quickly give an idea about the network statements uh, in the case of bgp now again unlike in ospf protocols let's say when you're using ospf or any other protocol what we do is we simply give a network command and like in the case of ospf let's say i'm advertising we need to say network 192.168.1.network network and then we give the wildcard mask and area and area number that's how we do even in ehrp also you have an option of wildcard mask now similar way in the case of bgp also we have the option of uh, using a normal network statements like i can simply advertise a 30 dot network let's say 30 dot network i can i can simply advertise with a default subnet mask like in this case if you observe here i want to advertise 30 dot network uh, with a default subnet mask default means uh, if it is an a class the default is slash 8 if it is a b class slash 16 c class slash 24 so whenever you are advertising a subnet with a default mask there is no need to mention the mask option but let's say you want to advertise a network like if you take this example here i want to advertise 13.0.2.0 and i want to advertise this network other than default subnet mask which is the default is slash it but i want to advertise this with uh, slash 24 we need to use a mask option so there is an option called mask we have to mention here and then we have to give the subnet mask subnet mask means uh, 255 255 2550 which is equivalent to the slash 24 or whatever the equivalent subnet mask we have to give now there are two options if you observe here one is without mask option the other one is with mask option now let's try to understand the difference between them and the behavioral difference in the case of bgp like in this case let's say i have configured bgp on on the other side so i'm expecting the bgp route so i can verify routes with the help of show ip route bgp and if you see here i have advertised 30 dot network so the router 2 and router 3 are forming the neighbors as you can verify the neighborship again i'll come back to, uh, we'll see the neighborship later we expect the neighborship is done and here you can see i'm receiving a 30 dot prefix and i'm receiving 30 dot prefix and i'm receiving only 13.0.2 dot dot prefix but if you observe these two prefixes i also advertised 13.0.0.0 and 13.0.1.0 which are actually slash 24. so now the problem here is these two prefixes are not coming uh, I'm, I'm able to receive this prefix why because i did not give any mask option so which means uh, this is with this is going with the default mask and this prefix this one 30.0.2.0 also i'm receiving because i'm advertising this with 30.0.2.0 with a slash 24 which is the mask option is given for this but the problem is with these two prefixes now if you observe these two prefixes i'm not receiving and the reason is the reason is now you can ask me like okay it should have advertised with slash 8 something like that right because that's what i discussed if you are not giving any mask i'm expecting that should be advertised with a default mask right but that's not going to work now there is one condition in bgp for any routes to be advertised like in this case uh, in this case what are the routes which are not being advertised let's say let's try to understand the condition here now the condition here is uh, any routes which are being advertised it has to have that particular route in the routing table it must have the route with the exact uh, mask like uh, let's take an example now the router 3 is advertising the route right so if i go back and say show ip route uh, show ip route or because they are connected i'll simply say show ip route connected so what are the routes which are being advertised let's write down them so the router 3 has advertising advertising 30 dot network 13 dot 0 30 dot network right and the router 3 is also advertising 13.0.24 network these two are being advertised but i'm not receiving 13.0.1 network i'm not receiving also i'm not receiving 13.0 network because uh, i mean i did not use any mask option for them 
Now, the problem here is whenever BGP is advertising the routes, like in this case also, when a BGP is advertising this route, it will try to match, see the exact match in the routing table. So, which means if you see the routing table here, uh, my routing table is very big, so I'm just simply using connected, but you can say show IP route. If I simply say show IP route, again, in this routing table, I'm expecting to have a 30 dot network <laughs> in the routing table, and that 30 dot network should be with the exact mask. Now, remember, the network should be present along with the exact slash value, exact slash value should be present. So the 30 dot network is exactly present with a slash eight. So it is being advertised. And the second one, if I observe 13 dot zero dot two dot network, you can see 13 dot zero dot two dot network is also present because that is also advertised with exact slash 24. <laughs> but again, if you check, if you, if you come back and check with the other two networks, 13 dot zero dot uh, 0, 0. because I'm not using any mask, it is expected to go with a slash eight which is a default for A class. But if you observe here, we have a 13.0.0.0, but what is the match here? So 13.0.0.0, it is with slash 24 is present, right? And 13.0.1.0 is also present with slash 24. So there is a mismatch of the network statement because your network statement I have configured with a slash eight and in the routing table, it is not having the exact slash eight. So that route will not be advertised. So every time I remember this rule, simple rule, the BGP will only advertise the routes which are present in the routing table with the exact match, with the exact match. Okay. Now this you can correlate uh, with uh, another uh, live scenario, let's say, uh, one of the possible case is, let's say, this is my uh, BGP, this is my organization ABC, and we are running different uh, protocol, let's say, all these routers are running OSPF, as if uh, they are running, they are talking to each other with the help of OSPF, and when, when we advertise in OSPF, we do advertise the LAN and the WAN interfaces, all the interfaces will be advertised, because typically we want all the interfaces to be advertised as well as to communicate. But again, we also advertise some routes. Let's say we have this router running BGP and this is com communicating with a service portal. And at the same time, I want to make sure that I'm going to advertise a specific routes. Let's say there are some routes you need to advertise them in BGP, okay? Like there is 11.001, let's say slash 24, and there is a 15.001 slash 24, or there is a 16, some routes, let's say, let me write one route. So this route need to be advertised because this is a public IP. Okay. And this route may be present anywhere. Let's say there is a router here, which is connecting. Maybe this is my DMZ or public server where 11.001 net subnet is present. Now the question is, uh, I want this route to be advertised by BGP, but this route is not advertising. So in this case, what will happen is, in this case, we do advertise the route. So we will be advertising this route in OSPF. So in that scenario, this route will be advertised in OSPF and it will reach here. And in order to send this route outside the AS, I'm going to advertise the same route, 11.00 network will be advertising in BGP. Either you redistribute uh, that specific route or you advertise. If it is one or two routes, you simply advertise. If there are uh, plenty of routes, you can do redistribution of uh, the, those things. But and then what it will do is, it will, it will simply uh, take the router, means we will be advertising the route in BGP here, okay? So this will be advertising the route. Now, now I can say how it will advertise because uh, simply the rule is in order to advertise this route in BGP, it has to be present in the in the routing table in the form of OSPF or in the form of connected, doesn't matter. So there is no rule that the route should be directly connected, right? Because this route is not present here, okay? So it is present somewhere here. 
but you can expect uh, this route will be advertised through the OSPF and then the border router will be advertising the route back to the ISP in the form of public IPs. Okay. So uh, the basic rule we need to keep in mind whenever the BGP is advertising the routes, it will always check the equivalent route should be present in the routing table. And that equivalent route should be present with the exact mask. And that's the reason, remember, when you are advertising any routes in the BGP, you need to make sure that you advertise with the exact mask. And you don't expect, right, you know, like in OSP of what will happen. If you take a simple example in OSP of or EHRP, if you have 13.0.1. network, 2.0 network, 3.0 network, 4.0 network, if they are all slash 24s, uh, we simply say OSPF advertise 13 dots network uh, with 0 0.255255255. It will advertise everything, all 13s. We can advertise everything in one single statement in OSPF or EHRP, but in BGP, you cannot do that. So in BGP, if you want to advertise these subnets, we have to give a separate network command and with a mask option with a slash 255255255. Like in this case, uh, let me let me go to the router too and uh, try to show you that. In this case, let's say I have these four networks with slash 24. They all are slash 24. If you want to confirm, you can simply say show IP route connected. They all are slash 24. So even that is a slash yet submitted into slash 24. Now in order to advertise, I have to use a network command. 12.000 with a mask of slash 24 because it is slash 24 we need to advertise with slash 24 so 12.0.1.2. dot one dot two dot and three dot so if you go back to router one or router three whichever the router we have configured if i say show ip route bgp you can see i'm getting all the four routes because we have advertised with a individual mask uh, whereas on the router 2, I am not receiving all 13s per se because the reason is the 13 dot network, if you remember, I advertised with one single statement. What is that? One single statement. So one single statement will not advertise all the subnets. This is a behavioral difference between the network statements in BGP compared to the IGP protocols.